welcome back to Yoganuary 2.0. So we are day two. Um, if you're still with me after day one, then yay, awesome. I am very happy to have you here. So I didn't say yesterday, um, which I should have done, um, but the hashtag for this Yoganuary series is just hashtag Yoganuary. Um, you'll see how that's spelt just below this, uh, this video. Um, you don't need to worry about the two, the point and the zero. It's just hashtag Yoganuary. So I would love to see you guys, your videos, your pictures, just captions about it, maybe what you had for breakfast afterwards. So make sure you uh, tag me and um, use the hashtag because that's, that's really how I'm going to be finding everything. So today's practice, we are focusing on the core. The core is very integral. It's integral not just to yoga, but to life. It's the part of us that helps to keep the spine nice and stable. So I'm not talking about the superficial kind of, let's all have a six pack. I'm talking more about the deeply rooted core muscles that just help us grow tall, help us stay stable, help basically with our structure of the body. So before we get onto that work, um, I just want to say to you to, if you're new to this practice, just do what you can. It doesn't matter if you don't quite make it <laughs> through every single count and everything. Take a rest whenever you need to. And yeah, just do your best. We're going to get started with uh, laying down and just doing some breath work first, some pranayama work. Um, nothing too intense or crazy for the day um, and then we'll be moving into our sequence. So let's all come down to the mat. I want the feet to the outsides of the mat. You're going to slowly bring yourself down. The knees are going to fall in so they're touching each other so that you can loosen out any tension in the lower spine. So you can either bring a hand to the chest and a hand to the belly or if it feels nicer for you, you can just bring both hands to the belly. So as we inhale and exhale, we're gonna be inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose. And I really want you to try and fill, fill the belly with that breath. So to begin with, we're gonna inhale for three, exhale for six. We'll do two rounds of that. Then we're gonna inhale for four, exhale for eight, two rounds of that. And then we're gonna inhale for five and exhale for 10, two rounds of that. So just try your best, stay with me, stay calm. No judgment on yourself or your breath, just moving softly with it. So we'll take a nice big inhale together. Exhale. And then we'll inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, one two, three, four, five, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let the breath soften. Gently just coming back to its natural state. And then slowly, when you're ready, just hugging those knees into the chest. You can either keep your eyes closed here or you can flutter open the eyes. Let's just take a little rock side to side. Again, just loosening out through the spine. Okay. So from here, you're going to, you can place the hands on the knees to begin with. You're gonna inhale, draw the forehead towards the knees. So really having to switch on the core here. And then, Either you can stay holding on if this feels good for you right now, 
or you can just take the arms away. So you're just tucking yourself up into this nice little ball. Stay with the breath, engaging your ujjayi breath if it's within your practice. Holding. And release. Beautiful. Okay, either taking those hands back or keeping them down. We're going to inhale, lift. And stay here. So such tiny, small movements, but really, really firing up the core. And exhaling, release. You're going to take the legs all the way up to the ceiling, flex the toes, inhale, arms reach above the head. Exhale, try and touch the toes. Inhale back. Exhale up. Ex inhale, sorry, back. Inhaling up. I've got my, my breaths mixed up, I apologize. So let's take an inhale down here and we'll exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. One more time. Inhale down. Exhale up. Staying up and then slowly see if you can start to lower the arms and the legs down towards the floor but not quite on the floor. Holding here and release. Really, really good, okay. Bringing those knees in again. So hopefully you've noticed that there is a core and it's in action. We're gonna take the, uh, the uh, legs all the way up. We're gonna separate the legs. We're gonna bring the hands to heart center and then we're gonna place the hands going through. So if you're super flexy, you're living in a very flexy body and your legs come all the way open, it's not the end of the world, that's all cool. Just make sure that you're switched on and that you're actually supporting what we're doing here. So again, we're gonna lift, we're gonna inhale down here and we're gonna exhale and push those hands through. Inhale, release. Exhale, lift. Inhale, release. Exhale, lift. Inhale, release. Exhale, lift. Inhale, release. Last one. Exhale, lift, hold. Start to bring the legs together and bring the arms all the way up. Shoulders are still off the mat. And then this time you're gonna see if you can lower the legs down towards the mat and the arms come back. Be careful of the lower back. And release all the way down, really good. Just bring those knees in. Just take a little window wipe of the legs going side to side. And then we're gonna hug those knees in and start to rock ourselves forwards. Coming all the way up, we're gonna swing our legs around, come onto all fours, okay. So, just to begin with, we're gonna work through some cow and some cat. We're gonna inhale, lift the chest, shine the heart forwards. Exhale, round the spine. Inhaling, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift, hopefully feeling a nice stretch across the abdomen when you lift. Exhale, come back to neutral. Okay, so we're stepping your right foot away. You're gonna recognize this from yesterday, but we're taking it in a slightly different direction. So right leg is away. And then you're gonna place the right heel down and open the right hip up to the ceiling. Left hip tucks under. And then you're gonna pick up the right arm, right arm stretches all the way across. Okay, so from here, you're gonna see if you can pick up that right leg. Okay, so here might be enough for you. If this is enough, you're gonna stay here. Those of you ready for your little core challenge, you're going to exhale, elbow to knee, 
Inhale away. Exhale, crunch here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Last one. Exhale. Inhale. Hold here. Those of you that have been holding this whole time, you're amazing. And then you're going to step that right foot behind you a little bit and come to this open chested point. So the right arm is reaching up and back and we're opening the heart up to the sky. And then slowly peeling yourself all the way back around and down. Right hand places down. Reset the posture. Okay, so we're on hands and knees again. We're going to press the left foot away. So really push it away. And then when you're ready, you're going to pivot that back foot onto the heel. And you're going to open out. So picking up the left hip this time. And then pushing forwards the right hip. And then the left arm comes all the way up and over. You really want to kind of be moving that little pinky finger down. Find some opening in the shoulder. And then from here, you're going to see if you can pick up that left foot. So again, option of staying here. I'm actually just going to turn myself around. You stay where you are, but so that you can see me. Hi. Okay, so I'm going to exhale. Inhale, open. Exhale. Inhale, open. Exhale, inhale, open, exhale, inhale, open, last time, exhale, inhale, open, hold, and then you're going to place that left foot just down behind you a little bit, open the chest, open the heart, shine that heart up, smile with the eyes, with the mouth. And then you're going to bring yourself all the way back down to your all fours position. I'll go back to where I was. Beautiful. Okay. So now, spreading through the fingers, placing the feet all the way back, coming into your high plank. Okay, so you really want to be pushing up through the shoulders, through the upper spine, holding here. So for some of you, this is going to be really, really, really hard. Okay, I mean, I'm already shaking. Okay, holding here. Stay with that Ujjayi breath. On an exhale, you're gonna roll the body back to our first downward facing dog. You're gonna spend a few moments just either pedaling out through the feet, maybe a wiggle of the hips, Maybe a shake and a nod of the head. Just whatever feels good in your body, spreading through the fingers, drawing the heels down towards the earth. So really spiraling those sit bones, those uh, bottom, all the way up to the sky. And in order of doing that, you might want to bend the knees. So taking some moments here. On an inhale, you're going to come up onto the toes, worm your, worm your way, snake your way forward, all the way to high plank. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale. Downward facing dog. And relax here in your downward facing dog. Beautiful, okay. So, catch your breath if you lost it. Inhaling, coming forwards to a high plank. And we're just gonna lower those knees down to about an inch off of the mat, keeping the back where it was. So the spine stays where it was. Okay, holding here. So these static exercises, postures, super good for our strength. Straightening the legs. Let's go one more time, bending the knees. 
Breathing, trying not to hold the breath here. And straighten the knees. Lower down to the knees properly now. Release the toes and slowly find your way all the way down to the mat. Okay, let's come up into Sphinx. Placing the arms forwards, really pressing through the palms of the hands. Lift the chest. And release down. Place the hands just about where the, uh, where the waist is. And you're gonna push through the hands and come to an upwards facing dog. So thighs are off the mat. We're lifting through the chest. Staying here, super strong posture this. We work through this posture so quickly in a vinyasa flow that sometimes we forget how tough it is to be here. Exhaling now, rolling over the toes, coming back to find your downward facing dog. Okay. Inhale, sweeping right leg all the way up, opening through the hips, pointing the toes. So finding just that little hip stretch first. It's always quite nice to get an opening. Now we're gonna close off the hip. On an inhale, we're going to bring the shoulders over into high plank and knee comes to the nose. Exhale all the way back. Inhale forwards. Exhale, take it back. Inhale it forwards. Exhale back. Inhale forwards. Exhale, take it back. Release right leg down, sweep left leg all the way up, open through the hip if it feels good to do so. To begin with, really staying strong in the shoulders here. Hmm, oh, it feels so good to get that little opening first. Okay, then let's close off the hips, so square the hips. On an inhale, coming forwards, knee to nose. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, come forwards. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, coming forwards. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, forwards. Exhale, take it back. Release that left leg down. Both feet are down on the mat. On an inhale, either step or float, jump the feet towards the hands. Lift the chest, create some space, option of hands to shins. Exhale down onto a forward fold. Then we'll inhale and sweep the arms all the way up to standing. Exhale the hands down through heart center. Beautiful, okay. So, standing here, hands down by the side. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, find space, create lift in the chest. Exhale, step or jump the feet back, either lowering down to the knees or down through Chaturanga if it's in your practice. Coming to high cobra or an upward facing dog. And then we'll exhale back to a downward facing dog. Okay, so from here, here we're gonna roll ourselves over to a high plank. Okay, remember you can always take a rest. I'm gonna inhale, pick up the right foot. Right knee, sorry, yeah, right knee to right elbow. Take it across to the left, back to the right, back to the mat, left side. Left knee to left elbow, across to the right, back to the left, back to the mat. One more time each side. Right knee to right elbow, across to the left, back to the right, back to the mat. Left knee to left elbow, across to the right, back to the left, back to the mat, lower down to the knees, push yourself back to a child's pose, bringing the hands down by the side of you. Those of you that are not ready to take a rest, you're just gonna meet me back in a downward facing dog. Here, and just for a few breaths, while some people are resting in their child's pose, you're gonna do three inhales forward to a high plank. 
Exhale, take it back. Inhale, forwards to high plank. Exhale, take it back. Last time, inhale, forwards to high plank. Those of you in child's pose, making your way back to a downward facing dog now to meet us. Okay. When you're ready, we're gonna inhale, we're gonna step or jump the feet through to a seated position. Okay. So, you're going to, so again, we kind of did this, we did a modified variation of boat pose and of asana yesterday. We're gonna lift through the chest, this time, hands come behind the knees, you're gonna bring the knees up to this angle, it's kind of tabletop angle. Option of staying here, or you're gonna take the arms away. Grow tall through the spine. I don't wanna see this, you wanna stay lifted. So if this happens, just take hold of the knees again and help yourself. Remember what your intention was. Hopefully it was to be kind to yourself throughout these practices. Okay, so we're gonna tap the floor with alternate feet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Either hold or we're going to lower and lift. Exhale, lower, inhale, lift, exhale, lower, inhale, lift. Last time, exhale, lower, inhale, lift. Let's all meet back here. And then we're gonna bring ourselves through a vinyasa. So jumping the feet back or stepping them back, working your way down through either chaturanga or down to the knees, inhaling upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, okay. So from here, we are going to hop those feet towards the front of the mat. Okay, so keeping the left hand down on the mat, if you would like a block, a block is really great here. So you can pop your left hand on a block. You're going to slowly move your right leg away from you. So this is going to replicate what we were doing earlier on, but with our knee down. I'm gonna open out that right hip Push the left hip forwards, and then you can see if you can open that right arm up for half moon, so Ardha Chandrasana. So, we're gonna take a little variation now, working the obliques. So you're gonna bring that right arm all the way over by the ear, and we're gonna do four of those crunches again. Soho, exhale, elbow to knee, Inhale away, exhale, inhale away, exhale, inhale away, last one, exhale, and inhale away, beautiful, super slow, take a step all the way back, come to find warrior two, giving the core a little bit of a respite here. So, pushing that left knee open, arms along, gazing towards that front finger or fingers. Come a little bit deeper. Okay. On an inhale, start to straighten the leg. And then exhale as you work your way forwards to Trikonasana. So either you're gonna have the hand resting, not fully on, but resting, on that front leg, or if you're deeper in your Trikonasana, you come all the way down to the floor, or you take the two piece fingers around the big toe. So, wherever you are, either staying here, always options. Taking that right arm all the way over by the ear, and then you're gonna have to really work the obliques as you bring the left arm up. One more breath, come on. And release. Slowly bringing both hands down to frame the foot. Push off that foot. Just take a little bit of a shimmy down here. Okay, and then we're gonna set up for our half moon, our Ardha Chandrasana on the right side. So right hand goes down, 
Left arm works its way back. Again, stay where you are. I'm just going to switch sides so you can see what I'm doing. And then left arm goes up towards the sky. The hip is nice and open. So we're staying here. We're finding our stability in the posture first. Super important. Humming all, arm all the way over. And we're going to exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, open. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, open. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, open. Ooh, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, open. Amazing. Bring yourself all the way back around, slowly placing that left foot down. We work our way back. We find our warrior two. So you might need to readjust your posture, your feet. You're coming into this right leg, gazing towards the right hand. On an inhale, straightening that front leg. Exhale, reach forward, forward, forward. Find your variation of Trikonasana, whether or not that's up on the leg, down on the mat, or feet, wherever it is, open the chest. Gazing up towards that top hand. Okay, either staying here or working that left arm all the way over and then seeing if you can bring that right arm with the ear. One more breath here. And slowly release it down. Just step the foot all the way back to the top of the mat. Heel toe the feet apart. Let the head drop down. Just take some movement, swaying softly side to side. Hmm. Maybe swaying forwards and backwards. Hmm. Inhale, come up to the fingertips. Exhale, hands to the hips. Inhale, draw the body all the way up. Step the feet together towards the top of your mat. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, find length, find lift and space. Exhale, either step or jump the feet back, lowering down through Chaturanga or down to the knees. Inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Okay. On an inhale, we are going to step or jump the feet through to seated. Beautiful. And then we're going to take the feet about hip width apart. So those of you that have been flowing with me for a while, you know exactly what's coming now. Those of you that have been to my classes, you know what's coming now. It's a favorite of mine. We take the arms out long and we very, very slowly work our way down to the mat, but so slowly. So we're exhaling and we're coming down. We also have a chat as we go. So the aim is you want to match my pace and you don't want to get down to the mat before me. If you do and you know you've done your best, then that's awesome. Just make sure you give yourself a little bit of a challenge. So there's always that kind of sticky part where we're about now is where I'm like, ooh, okay. We have a chat. Did you have a nice Christmas? I hope you did. <laughs> and release all the way down. So window wipe the legs, big sideways motions. So not baby ones, take them all the way over. Nice. And now we're just gonna either come to your traditional Shavasana with the legs all the way long down to the mat, palms of the hands facing upwards, closing off the eyes. Or you can bring the knees in and bring the knees together. Whichever version works for you. And we're gonna take a few moments, settling into the body, into the breath. So hopefully feeling a little bit more alive right now. Maybe a little bit of sweat, possibly, maybe. Just 
having a little scan of the body. to a comfortable seated position, maybe rolling over to one side first. Pushing yourself all the way up. Okay, finding yourself comfortable, grounded but growing. Gonna place the hands facing down on the knees. That's our grounding. We need to look, well, our kind of inward look. Grow tall. Close off the eyes here. Take a moment to dedicate your practice today to somebody that you love. So that fire, that energy and that passion that you've built within your practice, send that out to somebody that needs it, somebody that deserves it, somebody you love. Bring the hands to heart center. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me. And again, well done for Yoganuary day two. Um, like I've been mentioning, there are, is a giveaway this week. It's with the sports edit. So make sure you head over to my Instagram and you enter that. I would love to see your pictures and everything from the flow. Hopefully you're feeling good. So there is rhyme and reason to why we're doing what we're doing in, in a certain order. So today we've worked on the core. Tomorrow we're going to work on standing balances. So I really look forward to seeing you then for our practice. Bye-bye.